Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a handy little program you can use to detect Trojans, malware and stuff like that. Uh, it's called MyPorts and you can get it from this website www.fubyte.com forward slash myports.html and uh, it will work with Windows 7 RC1 Vista XP 2000 and Windows 98. It's great for detecting as I said, uh, Trojans, malware, keyloggers, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's have a little look at the program itself. If you want to download it, you have to click on this little picture here, and this will bring up the download box, and then just save it. Okay, now I've already downloaded it. It's a very small download. Let's have a little look at the program. I'm going to install it now. It's very simple to install. Just go next. I agree to that. Next, next, and so on. Okay, so we've got that, and we're going to launch the program now and that's it it's opened up and this is the actual program here I think it's very handy to have because I did a video some time back uh, on how to do this inside the command prompt and that means you've got to have the command prompt open and start typing stuff and it's all a bit too much of hard work really this is really simple we just click on a couple of little buttons so let's have a little look at the actual top tabs first and find out what we got a nice little touch I thought was uh, a list of ports used by Trojans. Now they've got a nice little handy list here that uses uh, what Trojans ports use. So as you can see here, all the common Trojans out there, which are which ports they are using. Okay. Now that's going to be great for cross-referencing and uh, using uh, to reference if there's any ports being used in that particular number. You can come here and check to make sure to see if it's uh, one of these types of Trojans. Then you know for sure. Okay. There's another little list here of services list of used services okay so what you need to do is click on that one and it shows you all the services that are being uh, used okay so let's have a little look at the actual program running itself now you can run it as an automatic scan or you can just click on this little target button here and when you click on that you can actually see there's a few established connections here now established means uh, exactly that because I've got my Firefox browser open and this is now establishing a connection and as you can see if you look here firefox.exe and that shows me that it's connected now a Trojan will be connected here and it will be co connecting to the outside world maybe it might be a, a, a Trojan dropper or something like that that's getting more Trojans to come onto your PC and stuff like that pretty nasty stuff but basically um, this is what you're looking out for is established connections okay now there's quite a few there so when I shut this browser down you will see a lot of those disappear now they won't disappear by on their self like that you need to just refresh here and and it will just then say that they've all been closed as you can see there's no established connections now so that is the reason why you can see a step established connection so let's have a little look we've got the IP addresses there the local port okay which is, which is listening to a remote IP address and you've got the remote port as well and you've also got the process path now this is pretty useful as well as you can see we've got Java um, in program files and it will also help you to detect uh, Trojans as well so you can see the process name as well anything unknown and stuff like that uh, that's connected established it's always good to have a little cross reference and a good check with that because obviously it's not known to this operating system what's going on there so it might be suspicious okay so that's the actual program itself it's a very useful little tool to have and I think um, the bloke's done a really good job on it and it's free download it use it it saves actually doing it in command prompt okay so I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos remember please subscribe to my channel and also if you haven't registered for my forum yet head over to my forum and uh, register over there and start posting some questions up there or whatever you want to do okay so thanks again for all your support guys bye for now